Tawal Baba Quad, Shalom, Shalom, early morning, early morning plantation. <clears throat> Call Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. All praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son through the Holy Spirit. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady and your children. And just bear with me, you know, I'm kind of tired. Early morning is one of those days. Well, you already know how Mondays are, you know. <clears throat> um, and, um, you know, I want to touch you know, on something that I observed, you know, while I was watching, you know, the apostles, you know, on their uh, live camp Saturday. And, um, you know, this, this, this walk is not easy. Everybody think that, you know, all you got to do is get you a, a, a garment, you know, and you know, turn on the camera, get you a tripod, and, you know, read the Bible. No, it's not. It's way, it's, it's, it's more work than that. You know, got a lot of men out there that are not sincere. And, you know, they got garments on. You know, they got a tripod. They got a YouTube channel, but they're not sincere. This work is, is, is uh, you know, it requires uh, work, but also you have to, uh, you have to bear, you know, the vexation that comes with it. You got to bear with the elements around you. You know, you got to bear what's surrounding you, your circumference. You know, I say all this because, you know, one thing that, you know, truly irritates me, and I'm going to show you it, it truly irritates our apostles, is that when you out there reading the scriptures, you know, you don't want to be interrupted. You know, we hate it when it gets loud or, you know, the ambulance or the police sirens, you know. You know, all these things, or, 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 or just a nigga, man, just walking by, smoking a black and mild and playing some loud music. You know, we, we got to deal with those elements, man. We got to deal with those, with that folly. You know, that's, that's a vexation, man, of spirit. It really uh, vexes you. You know, we have plenty of times when, you know, people just want to interrupt, or just just do things on purpose, you know. The demons, <clears throat> the demons will jump on them, and they'll do things on purpose, you know. And I say all that because you know, as I'm watching, you know, the lesson, I'm watching the live camp here. The apostles, uh, you know, you're gonna see that the apostles, you know. You know, it, 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 you know it, it vexes them somewhat. It bothers them because you're going to see this lady behind them in this, uh, uh, this, this truck in the back of them, uh, a crossover truck, car, whatever. You know, she's over there with her son, I think it's a son or a daughter. I don't know. I couldn't see. And, you know, he's making a lot of noise. He's playing with some type of toy that's making like a noise. And you know, you know, the elders and the apostles are reading the scriptures and you can see from the face of the uh, Apostle Tahar, you're gonna see Apostle Gabar, you know, you know, it, 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 it irritates them, it pisses them off, but you know, these men are, are honorable, honorable men. You know, they have gained, you know, uh, virtue, patience, you know, uh, you know, uh, they they have uh, custom their spirit. 
you know, to actually uh, have patience and deal with these, you know, extremities in the atmosphere, man. Dealing with these, you know, children and wicked people. And, you know, sometimes, you know, these demons that jump on these children. Got to understand these spirits know who Apostle Tar is. They know who you are, you brothers. If you sincere and you're doing this work in sincerity and um, you... You know, you're going through the spiritual battle. You, you, you're you being constantly vexed by these spirits, these demons. You know, you're doing something right. And, uh, and they know who you are. They can see the spirit of uh, Yahweh Bashem Shai in you. And I'm going to play this video. You know, and I want you all to pay attention because um, even at the end, you're going to see the woman. She's going to realize, like, it's something about these men that she said that she's going to she's going to give she's going to look at her son or daughter. She's going to go inside his, uh, her truck and she's going to turn around. She's going to tell her son and daughter to be quiet. She's going to put she's going to tell him she's going to put her finger in her lip, her mouth. You know how we and tell him to shh, be quiet. Because she she knows like she, she may not understand, you know, what's going on, but she do understand that they're reading the Bible and she understand that these men are, 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 are some important men. They're serious men. You know? That scripture say, you know, these people in the world, they can see a different spirit in you, man, because you're not operating in the spirit of this world. You know, you're, you, you're shining that light and the people can see that, you know, you, 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 people can see that at, at, at your job, you know, when you, you, when you in the store, strangers may see it in you. It's the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, they may not be able to pinpoint it and be like, man, something about this guy, you know, this man. But that's the spirit of the Lord. Because everybody's operating in the spirit of this world. Esau's world, the prince of the air, you know, but I'm not going to make this long. This is just something that I observed through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and I'm going to get like one, one or two scriptures, <clears throat> and, um, you know, close it out. It's the language that they it's spoke a, back Yeah, then. which is Hebrew. Which is Hebrew. So Hebrew is a part of the doctrine, Hell jackass. Yeah. Well, that's prophecy, Zephaniah 3 and 9. I bring thee back to a pure language that they may call upon the name. You came out of that hospital in the deathbed, that Passover in 2022. What did you and Kanai say? Hold on, Christ. Most I put the fear in you. Mm -hmm. then, then the fear, you, the fear was taken from you. Then yep. ready to happen again. You got it. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. then the fear. You see, you're going to see a possible bar look over real quick. Like, goddamn kid, listen. Fear was taken from you. Yep. Ready to happen again. You got it. Okay. Um, I lost my face. And then you can just see the face, the countenance of our apostles, man. It's, yeah, you people think this is something that you just go out, get a garment. You know, we got to deal with the atmosphere. The apostles got to deal with this. It's irritating, man. That's why y'all about Shimmy Shah is gonna come with great judgment to this place, man. This time, y'all about Shimmy Shah. If you're a member of the elect, you really gonna put the fear in you this time. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the, the scripture called the Heavenly Father the King of Terrors, man. The King of Terrors. Let's not forget that. Really gonna the apostle the fear gonna look. This time. He's gonna look to the side and look at it. You know, it's not easy. Y'all think this is a game. Mm -hmm. Hey, the, the, the scripture called the Heavenly Father the King of Terrors, man. The King of Terrors. Let's not forget that. All right, this is St. John 17 and 20. Yeah, I'm going to jump to uh, 43. One minute, one hour, 43 seconds. Let me get up there real quick. Let me see. All right, let me go. You're going to see her. Uh, the little demon going to keep pressing the goddamn toy, making all this noise. Elect. The elect, uh, not every, uh, uh, Yahweh did not give everyone to Yahweh Shai, only a certain, a certain amount. 
You Guess know? what? If you got Israelites that all of a sudden they don't believe that mm -hmm. the Most High's name is Yahweh mm -hmm. and the Son's name is Yahweh, guess what? They're not part of the elect. Mm -hmm. You're not part of the elect. If you believe the crap that made us saying, we're too late. Yeah. If you if you don't believe, you can call him your play yoga. You can. If you believe that. You should that, go. All right, that's you should go. She about to open the door. She gonna go in there. Then her little demon son or daughter gonna keep playing a damn toy. And you're gonna see her turn around and say, shh, be quiet. Shit, then you ain't part of the elect, man. Go ahead. All right. You're gonna call the king of terrorists no play yoga? Really? Really, nigga? Damn. Go ahead. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Yep. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition. Which is uh, Judas Iscariot. Right. That the scripture might be fulfilled. And, See? and now come I to thee. But the Turn son around. of perdition. Little demon gonna keep it's gonna get loud that noise. What's this? Judas Iscariot. Right. She gonna turn around. That the scripture might be fulfilled. And See? She's telling them, Shh, be quiet. You know? You know, it's almost like as a positor got his eyes locked in on that kid. <laughs> you see her finger? She's telling him to be quiet. Look. And now come I to thee, and thee, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And and now come I to thee, and these things I speak. See? And, and, it, and it's something, you know, she, she's, she knows, she, her mind is, you know, doing what she got to do. She's doing whatever she's doing. But at the same time, you know, it's like she know they're, look, they're reading the scriptures. These men, it's something about these men. They're important. And she's telling her child to be quiet. You know? And, 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 and you know, that's, that was something, uh, uh, that was a good thing she did there. You know? So, you know. I wanted to just uh, bring that out because I observed that. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and let's start at verse um, 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanton cannot be numbered. I commune with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yeah, my heart and great experience. Yeah, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. Verse 17, this is the point. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that is also vexation of spirit. And even King Solomon understood what folly is. That's folly, man. You know, these children, I mean, they're children, but a lot of these children, you know, they're spirits, ancient spirits. You know, but it's something about those men. She was saying to herself, something is going on. Let's go to Acts 13 and um, 46. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of the Most High Yahweh should first have been spoken to you. But seeing ye put it, ye put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And the ends of the earth is Babylon, the great America. This woman would can be considered, you know, a Gentile, because she more than likely she doesn't know she's an Israelite. There are, she's operating in a heathenish way. She might be a good woman. You know, it's a good thing. That was a good thing she did. You know, she told her, her child to be quiet. 
But she understood that these men, she may not know apostle, the apostles, but she understand that these men are important men. They're reading the scriptures, something about these men. That's that light that shineth. You know? Now, if the apostles had a bullhorn and they were yelling and, 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 and you know, had daggers and, and, and bulletproof vests on, she'd probably be like, man, what the hell is going on over here? These men are crazy. You know? She probably wouldn't even attempt to tell her child to be quiet. She'd probably give him the look, get loud. But see, it's some is a is a is a manner of conduct, is a way, you know, that you supposed to be, you know, behaving, man. Especially if you claim to be in this truth. You know, there there's a requirement for you to change and 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 learn how to be in order, you know, to have manners. You know, and like the scripture said, the spirit bear witness, you know, who the who the children of Yahweh Shem Shai is. And a lot of these Israelites out here, you know, right now, they're not children of Yahweh Shem Shai. They're children of Esau, children of, of Satan, uh, agents of Satan or just 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 operating in a in a carnal uh a uh, fleshly way man that's why all Israel is not Israel it's a way for you to conduct yourself in this truth you are required to change man and have and learn some type of discipline and etiquette and like I said a lot of you men, you think it's just about the, the popularity and, you know, uh, putting the garment on and seeing how many likes you like, uh, how many likes you get, how many subscribers, you know, just, 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 just in the wrong spirit, man. But this woman understood that the apostles were serious men. That's why she made that physical sign gesture to a child to be quiet man let me go back a little bit that the scripture might be fulfilled see she looking back like all right you 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 being loud watch this and and now come i to thee and these things that the scripture might be fulfilled and and now come i to thee but the son of perdition, which is uh, Judas Iscariot, right. that the scripture might be fulfilled. And see that? <clears throat> Call all y'all about Shimmy Shaw, praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son through the Holy Spirit. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kahakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom. Lord willing, you are edified.